Hi everyone, this is another video inspired by Bridgerton. In this case, I'm inspired by Penelope's character that has had like this makeover this season. So I'm doing some nails inspired by her and some of her looks. I published an earlier video inspired by Francesca if you want to check it out. Here's some of my inspiration shots of the new outfits she has with the sparkly and the softness, the blues, the purples, the greens. And yeah, let's get into it. For starters, I'm using my straightening base coat. It has like nylon fibers. It's the one I've been using in all videos pretty much. And for the base, I'm using this baby blue. It's from a collaboration between Brazilian brand Hiske and Bridgerton. So they have like all these nail polishes inspired by the series. This one is called Diamond of the Season, which is a very appropriate name, I thought. And I'm doing two coats of it on the nails that I'm doing just the blue. And in some nails, I'm gonna go over it with a purple polish, also from the Bridgerton collection. So for those nails, I'm only doing one coat of the blue, just as a base, really. I'm also gonna go in with some reflective nail polishes next, some glitters, and I will tell you more about them once we get to it. So here the purple, this shade is called The Author Revealed, so very inspired by Penelope, very fitting for a nail design that is inspired by her. It has like some sparkly bits on it, but I'm still gonna go over it with some more sparkly bits on top of it. So this is a collection by Brazilian brand Hits. These are reflective glitters and they also say they have like multi-chrome. I don't know if I would call it multi-chrome. To me it's more of like a shimmer or a dual chrome. But yeah, they have this like reflection shades to them. This one is called Violet Diamond. It has, as you guys saw, like a lilac base and it has this kind of blue shimmer throughout as well as the sparkly bits that are reflective. Next up, this one is called Ocean Diamond. This one is kind of a greenish blue, a bluish green. Over the nails, I thought the greenish reflection is the one that pops out the most, more than the blue base and the blue reflective glitters. And I really liked how it looked. I think it's very reminiscent of her dresses and the sparkliness. I don't know which one I like best. I really like how they look over purple. And I still don't know if I like the bluish one more or the greenish one more. Every time I go back and forth, <laughs> they both look beautiful to me. I'm sealing it all in with Sasha Vita top coat. I like it because it's a really thick top coat, so to put on top of the glitter, it really helps to smooth it out. I feel like these reflective glitters can be very textured, at least for like this collection in particular. So this top coat really helps seal it in and helps smooth it out. I'm not doing any sparkly bits on my thumb because I'm gonna do stamping on that one. And I will go over it with a top coat, but not Sasha Vita yet. Here is how it looks with the flash on, so you guys can see the reflective glitters really popping off. I think over the blue, they don't look as different, but over the purple, you can really tell the difference in the shades and the shimmers and the reflections running throughout. So for the thumb, I'm using a thinner top coat so that I can then go in with the stamping. I do this so to avoid the stamping polish bleeding in with the base polish, that can sometimes happen. So I'm using white for the stamping, I didn't want it to turn like a bluish white, so that's why I seal it in with the top coat. This stamping plate is the same one I used on my Francesca video. It's like a really old one I have, it's over a decade old, and I got it from an AliExpress-like website, so I don't have like a brand or a name of the stamping plate to share, I apologize. I really like this feather motif that it has, and I thought it was appropriate because, you know, spoiler, Penelope is Lady Whistledown, so she uses like the quill to write and publish her gossip pieces, and also because of her last name being Featherington, I thought the feathers would be really cool. I'm sealing it in with the Apipila stamping finisher to avoid smudging. 
and then going in with a Sashaviti top coat on top of it. And yeah, this is pretty much it. Here's the final result of how it looks. I really like how the thumb ties into like her name and the character and the other fingers are more of like her looks and the dresses and the sparkliness. And I hope you guys like it. I still haven't watched the new season when I'm recording this, it's not out yet, but I know when the video is out, it will be out. So I'm hoping for a good one. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.